Another way to quantize MIDI in Pro Tools is to use MIDI real-time properties. And you can find that by going to your Edit Window Views drop-down list and selecting real-time properties. And then you'll see that all your MIDI and instrument tracks will have an area where you can see your real-time properties. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and turn on Quantize, you just click on the button, and it gives you just a few settings here. If you want to go into more detailed settings, then you can go to Event, MIDI Real-Time Properties, and it'll open up a window that'll allow you to choose things such as the strength, offset, tuplet, and so forth. So the cool thing about using MIDI Real-Time Properties is you can have it set up so that when you are recording you still see exactly what was played but when you hit playback um, you're actually going to hear it quantized so originally it was like this and so now quantized again and you can see that when you turn the quantize on and off it doesn't change that where the notes are placed unless you choose a setting that's found in Preferences, MIDI, Display Events, um, Modified by Real-Time Properties. And if you have that on, you will see that now they do, the notes do shift when you have Quantize turned on and off for that. Another thing to be aware of it, that's really nice about Real-Time Properties is that it allows you to be able to tweak until the Quantize settings are just the way that you want them. Um, before you apply them. Um, you can also have different quantize settings very easily throughout your track. So for example, let's say I wanted to do a different quantize setting at this section of the clip. Then what I can do is I can press Command E to split it into its own clip. And you can see when I click on this clip, now the real-time properties are just going to apply to that clip instead of to the whole track if I have that selected. So I could even just turn off Quantize for that moment and you will know that real-time properties are happening on a clip by the top right corner. If there's a T there it means it is using the track real-time properties. If it's an R, well in, in this case we don't see any letter meaning there's no real-time properties but if we had maybe a different setting for, um, let's say for this section right here, I'm going to break it and do a different setting here. You can see now there's an R. And the R indicates clip-based real-time properties. So it's got its own settings there. Now, once you have it tweaked exactly the way that you would like, um, you can go ahead and permanently render those changes or apply those changes to the clips by just selecting the area you want to apply the real-time properties to and pressing right to clips.